The first thing I do when I wake up is I go and get my camera and I go back to bed to make it look like I'm waking up for the first time to die. Then my alarm goes off Rise and, shine. and I'm ready to start my day. I realize it's 10 o'clock, I slept an hour late, and I'm pissed. So I open my beautiful little window, it f***ing blinds me, and I start my day drinking a bunch of water. It makes me want to blow, it makes me want to cry, and then I go straight for the pills in this little pill jar that I bought from Nordstrom. It was overpriced, it was $20, but I had a gift card, so I bought it anyways. I'm just looking for that one little magical pill that gives a little pep in my step, gets me ready to start the day, even though it takes like a f***ing hour to hit. Sends a little tingle down my spine, and it's really silly. And I'm ready to take on the day and take a sh Good morning. Oh, I hate people who say ting. Good morning. It's time to just get things back in order and our lives back on track. I feel like everyone keeps saying they're so lazy and all these things that are negative. It's just so much easier to complain, but I'm just really trying to stop the negative thoughts. So you guys, what we're gonna do to die? Oh my God. This tripod. There you go, negative thoughts. So I wanted to wake up early today. I woke up at nine, still not early, but better than yesterday. I hit the snooze button, saw me wake up at 10, went to bed at like, I think 1 a.m. Wanted to go to bed at like midnight, but realistically, I really wanna go to bed at 10, and here we are. But you know what? I did one thing today that I changed. That is incredible. Okay, this light, Ugh, this hair, it's so hot. Ugh, just need like a little haircut. Do you guys love it? <laughs> One of my biggest things is just doing things. You always say you want to do things, you never do it. There's no such thing as really motivation. You just have to f***ing do it. Usually I would start my day slowly making it downstairs to make food. Then I get my coffee. I then take a silly little stroll in my backyard for some fresh air, vitamin D, and to get my fiber in for the day. Quarantine has led many of us to some not so healthy food choices, which in turn left us with a not so happy gut. Mexican food has seriously destroyed whatever gut I allegedly had, and it's why I've been incorporating Bellway into my journey for the past month. We needed to fix the insides, okay? Bellway is an organic, all-natural, vegan, keto, paleo-friendly, and gluten-free fiber supplement that contains zero sugar, uh, yes, and flavored with real fruit. I got the lemon-lime flavor, which is really good. It's very Gatorade adjacent, which I like. It's super easy to use. All you have to do is take a scoop of the powder, put it in at least eight ounces of cool water, stir it, and drink it. It's been a great way for me to force hydration in the morning because if you don't drink it quickly, it gets goopy, and mama doesn't like a goop. Oh, fiber is also really, really good for a happy gut, smooth moves, less bloating, clear skin, and healthy hair, improved heart health, and feeling fuller. So there's literally no reason not to increase your fiber, especially when you have issues like constipation, loose stool, bloating, diarrhea, hemorrhoids, high cholesterol, going too little, going too much, always hungry, high blood sugar. I've tried other fiber supplements in the past that honestly only made me feel worse, but this one made me feel light as a feather, and every time I go to the bathroom, it's smooth sailing. I love it. This is actually a product I believe in, otherwise I wouldn't be sharing it with you, because if you also have stomach aches, like this has helped me so much. They also have collagen supplements on their website, which I'm super interested in trying. Use my code RYAN25 to get 25% off your first order at Bellway, you guys. I'm go on TikTok for like an hour, just keep going on apps until it's like three hours hours later and then I'm like, I need to work out. And then my day is like already over. So instead I woke up and went straight to the fucking yoga mat. I just did yoga. It was incredible. I'm feeling actually very loose and silly. You like that? My goal that I set last night was just to go and work out right as I woke up. Yes. Think your chest, front and back. So we did that. I got my yoga on the TV. Now I have some random, I don't even know what that is, but he's hot. It's 11.30 and now I get to have my incredible oatmeal of the day. Mm. So for today's oatmeal, I opted for some raspberries. I don't know how people make this like look hot. I'm doing this over coffee right now just cause I haven't wanted coffee this morning, so. Mm. This is for real. Oh my God. Oh. Okay. So Celsius, you guys, so fucking yummy. I don't even know what it is. It's like a sparkling energy drink, but you know what? Healthy energy accelerates metabolism, burns body fat. It tastes like a tangerine LaCroix. Ah. 
There's so many flavors. You can get, this sounds like an ad. It's not an ad. You got the seven essential vitamins. It's all around supposed to not be bad for you. Realistically, is it? Maybe, who knows? I feel like everything always ends up being bad 10 years later. But you know what, you guys? You just gotta find out what makes you happy. And if it kills you, it only makes you stronger. I have so much to do today, you know, just quarantine life. I have a meeting at 1230 that it's 1140. I also wanted to have like a little glow up sesh this morning and I'm running out of time. I'm just gonna eat this, check back on. Baby. Okay, it's now 1146. The day is flying by. This lighting is crazy. Um, what was I gonna say? I'm just gonna take you on the day of my life. It's gonna be really crazy. I just think it's always a good time to see what everyone else does in their day and like, what can you incorporate? What can you learn? What should you not incorporate based on someone else? Let's take a peek in my room. So over here is my stunning, you know, TV setup. I always just like to have a vibe on with my stunning little lights. It is so unnecessary, but you know what? It makes me feel like I'm somewhere that's not in my room. The lights then make me feel like I'm at a club and I throw on some tunes and I fucking start gyrating to the rhythm, bitch. What was I doing? Did I talk about Rainy Rodriguez? She's just a queen. She inspires me every day. I wake up, I see her, I blow a kiss. So over here is what you should not do is a fucking chair that has turned into a laundry bin, except everything on it is clean. I even have the hangers on it because I know I need to put it away. I have my lint roller on it. I know my lint roller is there. Sometimes I'll lint roll my bed, just clean it up. The hardest part of cleaning is just putting shit away. Having ADD it is the worst because I literally just need to visualize and see where everything is. Otherwise, it will not exist anymore. How am I supposed to know if I can't see it? I don't get it. How people just know where it's at. I like, I don't even know. So like my nightstand, junk, 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 junk. So disgusting, but honestly, so necessary. Like my pills, hello. Sarah's gift that I probably will never remember to give to her if I don't see it right in the open abyss of my carpet. So cool. I don't know if you guys make your bed every day, but you gotta. It is the ultimate vibe to not be depressed. Makes the room look cleaner, minus the fucking mound of clothes. But it is better than hitting the floor or my yoga mat, which I need to pick up. Up there, you guys, I have my plant that could be dying. <laughs> I shove her up there. And I just hope she's not dying. I don't know how plants work, but I always like whisper sweet nothings in her ear. Like, you are so stunning. You are thriving. <laughs> There's something in my tooth and my, and my lip. What the fuck? It's my oatmeal. But you guys, it's a beautiful day. There's so much to be grateful for. Okay, I need to shut the fuck up. <laughs> Cause it's noon. I need to shower really quick. Cause I have a meeting. We're now at the age where we have to parent ourselves. And I'm just realizing that now. That's why I'm not getting shit done. It's because I'm just like, oh. Maybe in a few hours I'll do it. No, I'm not gonna do it because it'll be five o'clock and then I did nothing. So now I'm gonna shut the fuck up because if I don't, I won't do it. So just do it, Ryan. Shut the fuck up. Okay, I'm going to the shower. <gasps> yes. <sighs> I do want my puff though, so I'm gonna grab that. <laughs> Here we go. To the shower. Okay. <laughs> Oh my god, this is honestly embarrassing. Okay, whatever, I'll show you. So here's my bathroom. Um, I honestly don't know why it's such a fucking mess. Like, it's actually maybe the worst I've ever seen it. Like, horrible, horrible. I'm not this messy of a person, you guys, I promise. But this little cute thing, because clearly I ran out of space in every fucking drawer and every cabinet, and now it's all on here. But you know what? I can see where my shit is, okay? <laughs> That's the fucking ish. I took a shower, thank God. Cleaned up the bathroom, double thank God. And three, yeah, I had the work meetings and Joe's here again. But as I've been saying, I've been wanting to quit the Nikki. And every single time I'm like, oh shit, I need to film a quitty Nikki. I'm like, but I don't want to quit yet. And there's always an excuse. There's always something. So I'm realizing I have to like make a video to establish that I'm gonna make the video to quit the Nikki. So this is kind of what that is. Because then that way I'm like forced to do it. You're never gonna quit. I'm letting them know that I'm gonna make it now. You're gonna be 50 with the lychee ice. Mm -hmm. Iron grip on the lychee ice. <laughs> no, I won't. That's disgusting. I refuse to, I won't have it next week. Cause I just put it out there. Joe will not do it. Cause he's a Don't care enough. And Rainy Rodriguez. My future self is dead, so is not thrilled. 
I have to make a video that I am quitting, so this is that video, so then that way I'm forced to film the whole journey, which I will then also be including my glow up routine because I'll be so bored next week, trust me, that I will then be showing you all my beauty secrets. Not today, that's what I wanted to do, but not anymore because I need to quit first, you know? One of the presents Joe got me for my birthday was sage and a crystal. It's called a smudge kit. So it's basically just to cleanse his room. He's been in that mental rut lately, so I thought it would be good to just like refresh, restart. You know? Renew. Yeah, renew. Every day's a new day, a new day to look like a new whore. <laughs> I look like a crack whore. Okay. So let's sage. I want to set an intention. Yep. An intention. An. An intention. Good. So now we are going to sage the Nikki away. Any inner demon in this room. Okay, what do we do for step one? What set do we do? your intention. Okay, we're quitting Nikki. Do you have a lighter? Apparently only I am. Do you have a lighter? We got rainy over here, BB. We need a lighter to do this, Ryan. We need a lighter. Uh, it's over here. Okay. Okay. Here we go, ladies. Sage. It has like a really potent. It smells so good. Okay. Now you can sage yourself. <laughs> your turn. We go around your room. Sage this motherfucker. Sage my ass. Sage that bitch. Just everything is like a Nikki dicky part. CB. Randy Rodriguez. Saging Christelle's asshole. We're saging my asshole. We'll sage Ryan's nostril. What else do you want me to sage for you? Randy Rodriguez. <laughs> oh, she smells so good. <coughs> so we're gonna last sage our queen, Rainy Rodriguez. Hey, BB. It's me. BB, are we still there? BB, we're losing him. Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. I am from the future. <laughs> Why am I so sexual? He's kind of hot. He's I'm so curious. sexy. This like robe, like what is going on, BB? You need to quit the Nikki. It is time, BB. It's your time. I'm from the future when you're fucking lit as a tit. You're vibing, and most of all, you're thriving. And I'm just here to tell you that you got this. You can do it. And the reason I know you can do it is because you did it. And if you didn't do it, you wouldn't have did it. You know what I'm saying, Ryan? BB, are we still there? Stick on your yoga mat. We're so proud of you from the future. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, I love it. Okay, well, I'm gonna go, BB. And we are so excited to see what this week has in store for you, BB. Oh, Rainy Rodriguez. <laughs>